What is Canada's favorite drink? Well, I'm sorry to say, Bob and Doug, it's not beer. It's not even water. No, we drink more coffee than anything else. Today, I'm searching out a great cup of coffee on the Halifax waterfront. So I'm here with Ray and the manager of Brownlee Coffee Bar. And Ray's got such a wonderful personality, in fact, a smile that I'm sure uh, loyal customers come back all the time just to see you and the rest <laughs> of the staff. But tell me a little bit about the history. How long has the, bar, the coffee bar been open? Yeah, we've been open since June 2017. So we're coming up on our sixth birthday. Okay, amazing. Yeah. So uh, past all the love that you emanate out, uh, what's the secret behind the coffee? And tell me a little bit about the espresso, maybe a little bit about the drip coffee, because I yeah. think you do some cool things there too. Yeah, for our drip coffee, we have different roasters. So we'll bring in like Java Blend, um, Nova Coffee, sometimes Pilot, sometimes um, North Mountain. Um, but yeah, we like to have different brews on. So light, medium, dark roasts, just to have different variations. Amazing. And then for our espresso, we use Black Dog Espresso by Nova Coffee. And we just like to make sure it's dialed in perfectly. The milk is steamed beautifully and it's right temperature. So it's the perfect cup. Amazing. And you're going to teach me how to make the perfect I cup. Am. So I'm hopefully I can get a job here at Brown yeah, Coffee Bar. Barista. So everybody's grandma or Aunt June has their secret cookie recipe. And now I'm here to discover Chef Jen's secret <laughs> cookie recipe. So I've really been tempted to try this salted caramel chocolate chip cookie that I've heard so much about. So big hard questions, butter, shortening, or combination of them both? 100% butter. 100%, oh, 100% butter, okay, <laughs> delish. Um, chips or chunks? Chips. And, and the big question, milk chocolate, semi-sweet or dark chocolate? Uh, we use a 54% cacao, which is a dark chocolate. Amazing. Okay, so, and then how do you get that salted caramel in there? We make our own caramel uh, separately, and then once it's hardened, we kind of crush it up and get our anger out and throw it in the cookie. Amazing, so we're gonna taste it in just a second. So thanks, Chef Jen. I am excited to try your cookie. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, Ray, Jen, and team at Grounded Coffee Bar for trying to make me a barista. I don't think I'm gonna pass the cut, but I will become a regular customer. So cheers to you. Well, I'm back home from perhaps my failed attempt to become a barista at Grounded Coffee Bar, but hopefully I'll make up for it making a really cool dessert you can serve at a dinner party. So what am I going to make? It's a mocha coffee mousse with a salted caramel. It's going to be inspired by Jen's great salted caramel chocolate chip cookie. So what do you need to make it? Pretty easy. The secret ingredient, a can of condensed milk, which I'm going to magically transform into caramel sauce. So how do you do that? Super easy. Take off the label, put it into some water for about 90 minutes. In a bowl, whip two cups of whipping cream until soft peaks form. Then beat in half a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of vanilla, set that aside. In another bowl, beat two egg whites until they're foamy and frothy. Add two tablespoons of instant coffee and a pinch of salt and beat until some peaks form. Gradually blend in the sugar and whipping cream with the egg whites. Once that's mixed, place it in the freezer for at least two hours before serving. My mousse is out of the freezer. It's been out for about five, 10 minutes. So perfect temperature for filling this martini glass. My caramel sauce worked. So right on the bottom, give it that salted caramel taste, a little sea salt, mousse goes into the glass. So what's left? A little chocolate sprinkle to finish it off. I'm gonna have a taste. Mm. I can't tell you how good that is. Gonna finish it off with a little cream liqueur. And we'll see you again soon.